Yeah, Jeff. Well, you know, we have a property together. That would be the gleaming gold tower with the Trump on top. Phil Ruffin, who owns Treasure Island, is a busy guy. I talked with him this morning on the phone. I'm sure he would do everything he could to help, you know, to help Vegas because he's here. And uh, it's been extremely successful. Uh, you know, the property uh, has gone from $563 million in debt to zero. And we still have 420 units left with no debt. We love Nevada. He would be a president who knows gaming, having opened casinos in Atlantic City in the 80s. Analyst Bill Lerner. He was an early mover in that market and had a great deal of success for a lot of years. At one time, Trump had a Nevada gaming license. For Las Vegas, it isn't necessarily the worst thing. UNLV's Michael Green. And if he is the type who believes business should be allowed to do pretty much what it wants to do, then I could imagine casino executives being pretty happy. Our bread and butter is tourism. A record 42 million people came here last year. To see how a President Trump could trump that, Phil Ruffin says think big picture. If he brings jobs to the, to the country, it'll help Las Vegas, and that's his whole plan is jobs, more jobs. And so that, that would be good for Las Vegas. Experts would not expect a specific gaming agenda. For example, Trump hasn't really weighed in on online gaming. And for labor, Trump says he has good relations with unions, although our biggest union would beg to differ. Since summer, it's tried to unionize Trump Las Vegas. But in the meantime, he has to get to the White House first. If that happens, he'd be a president with his name just off the strip.